Hey guys, Brendan again. Today we're going to be using a campfire to melt aluminum cans down into aluminum bars or whatever you want to mold them into. So let's get right into this. So a couple of things you're going to need is you're going to need a stick to poke and stab at your liquid aluminum to get the slag off of it. Anything will work. I just use this like fire turning stick. Now you're going to need some kind of tongs. These are real long tongs so I can stay away from it because, you know, it's liquid metal. It's pretty hot. You're also going to need some aluminum cans that you'll be melting down and something to melt them in. I found that a steel soup can will get the job done, but if you have like an actual crucible, that would be better. And then finally, you're going to need something to pour your liquid aluminum in. This is just like dirt and sand that I've just dug out of my yard and dried out. It's important to make sure that it's dry because if it's wet, it might like pop up and get on you. And that would be like a trip to the hospital. That's no good. And then you're also going to need a fire that gets pretty hot. All right, so you're going to take your crucible with your tongs and just stick it down in the middle of the fire I made it there's a, like a nice little bed of coals down there and have it like fully surrounded by nice flaming logs and I just let the like random plastic lining and everything burn off for a second and then once that gets good and hot I'll start feeding it aluminum all right so now that the can is nice and hot we're gonna take our tongs Ooh. And a little bit more carefully than that, we're gonna just gently plop those guys down into there. I'm gonna get you, I'll bring you in. So that's what we're looking at. A can, in a can, in a fire. And you gotta be careful, the little bit of water vapor in there will probably give a little poof. Usually it's not dangerous, but I like to stand back a little bit after I put each can down. So I'll bring him in, in a little bit. If you notice it's taking a long time for your cans to melt, you can get yourself something like a frisbee and give it give the fire more oxygen. So that just makes the fire like crazy hot. And this is sort of how like actual furnaces work by blasting air on the hot coals. It just gets them ripping hot, so it melts the can easier. But you gotta be careful that you don't wear through your thin steel soup can doing this. So it's a delicate balance. So once you got a bit of a puddle going down at the bottom of your crucible, you can start to get ready to bring it over to your pouring area. So you're going to want a big bucket of water and a mold. So I'll see you when I'm doing this. So this is what that guy turned out like. About six or seven cans melted down into this little little chunk of aluminum here. Could have done a little better. I uh, probably should have melted more cans down to fill the mold that I stamped out. But this one's pretty nice. It's got a weird little bump. I don't know, he's got character to him. I'll show you guys the ones that I've made before. But this is the one we made today. And I hope you guys learned something today. Just melting down cans and a fire like that. You can do this in your backyard. I'm doing it in my backyard. But, uh, you know, definitely be careful. This stuff gets real hot. It'll send you to the hospital if you touch it while it's hot. So just, you know, use your brain. Use your senses when you're doing it. If it's hot, stay away from it. Uh, but other than that, I guess I'll show you guys what I've made before. So these are the rest of the bars that I've poured uh, over like a year or two. Just every once in a while, I'll pour one. This is the first one I ever poured. Similar little nub to the one that we just poured. I don't know what that's all about. But we got these nice ones. And then one time I pressed a little um, plastic baby into the bottom of it. 
So now there's like this baby sticking out of this bar. I don't know, I think it's pretty funny. But yeah, that's all. If you learned something today, please leave a like, share it, tell somebody any anything you want to do. Go out and just build a fire. You ever like just sit and build a fire? That's like all I ever want to do. All right, well, I hope you guys all have a good day. I'll see you in the next one.